Okay, today we're going to be using TinyScan to scan a document into Store and Search, your Store and Search account. TinyScan is an app available for Android, Windows, and for iOS, iPhone. We're going to be using the Android phone for scanning, and the settings should be similar on all three phones. Okay, so we get our phone and we select the app, TinyScan. I've already scanned some documents, but we're going to go into the settings first before we scan anything else. So we select the top left hand side of the screen and you've got your settings. Now what we have is by default we're going to select A4 you have different sizes but we've, we've already selected A4 default process we don't really want it in color because that will affect the quality of the image that we scan and and how we retrieve the document when we search for words later so we select black and white uh, we're not going to use Wi-Fi settings and that's pretty much it for all, all we need to adjust for today it's a fairly simple application so we then click the scan icon. We get our document. We have auto flash settings here. We hold on a flat surface with clear lighting the scanner or the phone above the document you're going to take the picture of. When you've got the image in the viewfinder, click on scan. The image is loading and it allows you to adjust it. Now, what you have here is a grid section. The grid section allows you to adjust to crop the document. Now, it's pretty much okay as it is. We don't really need to adjust the image. So you can see we've got a, a tick there. It's A4. The image is completely within the grid. Click tick. And we accept an image. If we want to adjust the contrast, the brightness, we can do. You have five settings varying to really dark, really light. This is on mid setting. Again, it's down to the individual choice, but that image is pretty clear. So we, we click tick and it's now accepted. We can give the document a name. Now this is a post office receipt. We can either leave it as a new document, but I'm going to call it post office bill. Accept that, that's now gone. Now we've got our document, we can now email it. So we're going to email it to Store and Search, which is the way we process documents for you to be able to search them later on. So we click the share icon. Now on the pro version, you can email to me. On the free version, you have to type an email address. But once you've done it once, your email should automatically remember the email address you sent it to. So I'm going to click email for me because this is the pro version, the paid for version. And once I put in my email address, now my email is paul at blackbox consulting so my, my email starts with letter P so on store and search we have A to Z settings for emails for processing documents that we receive now I'm going to use the P setting so P at store and search dot co uk and once I've saved that once that will remain in there so if your email is for example Elaine or Joe at whatever company, then obviously you select the J at Store and Search or E at Store and Search. So I've saved that. I'm now going to send it via my Gmail account. Automatically, you can see there now it's populated P at Store and Search dot UK, and it's come from my email address. Now click Send. Message is now gone. It's now been received by our server. Okay, we've scanned using TinyScan into the store and search for QFR. We're now going to access the document we just scanned. So we take our Android phone or whichever phone you're using, we select the app, store and search, and we log in. Now you log in with the email account you used to create the uh, store and search account in the first place. When you log in for the first time, you're going to be asked to accept the terms and conditions. So you check the checkbox. I've already logged in once, so it's it's not going to be um, it's not going to requesting that again. So we have an inbox. Now this is automatically created for us the second that we scan an email, a document. We scanned one, the one earlier, the post office uh, receipt. If I now click on my inbox, we can see there my post office receipt is now a PDF. It's been processed by our service and it's now searchable. 
what we're going to do now is we want to create some more folders. So we go back to the home folder. This can be done exactly the same way um, on a on a PC or an iPad or a tablet. But we we're doing we're creating a folder from the phone. So we're now going to create the folder. Let's ask for a new folder name. So we're going to call this one Proceeds. So now we have two folders. We have the inbox and we have the receipts. We select the inbox and there's the document we scanned earlier that's now been processed and converted into a PDF. We checkbox it and we're now going to move it. We select the folder we're going to move it to, receipts, and move. Okay, so we now go to the receipts folder and our documents have been moved into the receipts folder. So we're now going to preview the image that's now in the receipts folder. So we check on the document, click on it, sorry, and here we have a preview. It saves you downloading the file. Now we know we have our documents in the correct folder, our indexing engine in the background automatically maps and tracks every single document within your file room. So if, you, if you've created several folders or for receipts, for home bills and so on, every time a document is moved, our index engine will pick up on the new location and index it in place for you to search later. So we're now going to search for a file. So first thing we're going to do is a simple search. We're searching for post, which is the name of the document. Click search. And here we have a post office bill. What we've just done there is searched for part of the file name, and obviously it's a post office bill, so it's found the post office bill. That's clear results. Now we can do a complex search. Now at the moment, on phase one of um, store and search, when we search, we search all of the folders within your file room. So we can't be specific. Phase two, when the new search engine is in place, we'll be able to search within specific folders. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do an advanced search. So we click on the spyglass again, we click advance, and we know if we look at the uh, receipt, we have the original receipt here, we're going to look for keywords within this, this document. So we may know the phone number for example, which is 743233. So we're going to type in the advanced search 743233. Scroll down the screen and we click search. Again, we receive the result. This time, though, if you look, the document is called Post Office Bill, so it doesn't contain any numbers, but the search engine has found the content, which is the phone number within the document. So we open up the document, and you can see the telephone number is there, 743233.